blood is fluid connective tissue composed of plasma and formed elements, that is, blood cells. Let's take a look at the different types of blood cells and their functions. Plasma makes up 55% of blood, so you'll see it in our models, which are meant to simulate blood droplets on glass microscope slides. Red blood cells, or erythrocytes, produce a protein called hemoglobin, which helps them transport oxygen from the lungs to the body's tissues. Fun fact, unlike other eukaryotic cells, mature red blood cells don't contain nuclei. Platelets, or thrombocytes, are cell fragments that help prevent blood loss when blood vessels are damaged. As you can see here, inactivated platelets are irregularly shaped discs. In contrast, activated platelets have projections that help them stick to wound tissue and to other platelets to form a plug at the site of a blood vessel tear. Activated platelets also release chemicals that initiate clotting. Now let's move on to the white blood cells, or leukocytes. There are five types of white blood cells. Neutrophils, basophils, eosinophils, monocytes, and lymphocytes. Neutrophils, basophils, and eosinophils all have granules in their cytoplasm and nuclei with multiple lobes. These granular myeloid white blood cells play central roles in the innate immune response. Neutrophils engulf and destroy pathogens using enzymes and proteins stored in their granules. During allergic and inflammatory responses, basophils release histamine and heparin to promote blood flow to the area. They also release chemicals that summon more white blood cells to the scene. Eosinophils are found in the loose connective tissue of the skin and the intestinal and respiratory mucosa. When activated, their granules release digestive enzymes that attack parasites. Monocytes, or agranular myeloid white blood cells, have kidney-shaped nuclei and no visible granules. When the body isn't responding to inflammation or infection, monocytes are inactive and appear spherical. When activated, they elongate and form projections called pseudopodia that engulf bacteria and other foreign substances. Lymphocytes are the main players in adaptive immunity. B cells are responsible for antibody-mediated immunity. Activated B cells produce and secrete proteins called antibodies, which target specific antigens to flag, neutralize, or destroy them. T cells control cell-mediated immunity, the body's targeted response to infected or foreign cells. Natural killer cells participate in both innate and adaptive immunity. They specialize in destroying tumors and body cells that have become infected with viruses. Explore these blood cell slides in 3D with Visible Biology. To learn more, visit visiblebiology.com.